Hello, my name's Heidi or Heather, whichever you like. Welcome to my channel where I talk about my mental health and your mental health and most of the time, kind of all the time, I just ramble about anything. So, I got my hair done. Um, it's been blue for a while. I don't know if I posted a video. I've taken, or taken, I've taken several videos. I have filmed several episodes and I just haven't done anything with them. I think I'm just going to delete them off my phone because it's just, <laughs> anyway. And my bra won't stop sticking out. I do have other bras, but I didn't feel like changing my bra, so I didn't. I am going to go eat with my parents and my girlfriend at this place called Pizza Ranch. Shout out. I've never been, so if it's gross, like, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> But my parents seem to like it a lot, and so I guess that's what we're doing. I love starting off the video with me dropping things. So, let's do our um, primer first. The Too Faced Plump and Prime, like usual. Um, I don't know if I'll buy it again. I don't feel like it actually does anything, but maybe it's because I don't do my makeup enough. Because it says noticeable difference in so many weeks, and I don't know. I'm just glad it doesn't burn my face. Uh, I am trying to hurry because I think I only have like an hour, which not that I want this video to take an hour, but I'd like to, god dang it, I'd like to be done in plenty of time. So I'm not, um, you know, stressing about it. <sighs> Excuse me. I've been running around and apparently my diaphragm doesn't like to work. This is again that Natasha Denona High Gen Skin Glass. It feels really nice on my face so it's like a primer serum so I guess I'm not putting an actual primer on I have two primer serums whatever uh anyways it's a big old mess in here behind me is um like in this little thing is the Natasha Denona stuff I used and then on the bed is stuff that I haven't used yet. Um, by that, I don't mean I've never used it, but like I started going, I'm gonna use every product I have by her at least once. And I just haven't really had time to do my makeup. And then when I have had time, I've been going through a lot. Um, I don't remember what all I've told you guys, but I had a panic attack and wrecked my car. So my car's gone. Um, can't seem to get rid of this fucking acne. One of my one of my coworkers and friends passed away, and I kind of had a hard time coping with that for a bit. It still bothers me, obviously. I mean, it's not like, well, I'm over that now. I don't know why I said that. It still bothers me because it should, you know, it's a friend that passed away. It should still bother you, but I'm getting to where I can kind of talk about. You know, the, the good stories without crying and, you know, I don't know. I guess I'm just getting to a better place. This is that Bye Bye Redness concealer stuff from uh, IT Cosmetics. I try to use it when I whenever I do my face because it really does cut some of the redness out. But I don't always remember. So... I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. Especially since it's really old and I would like to, you know, not have to hold, like, throw it away. Because if I use it, then, anyway, I just don't want to throw it away. It's basically my point. I found the cord, funny enough, for my, um, my mic thing. I have a, a stand that holds a mic and I have a mic for it. I haven't been using it because I couldn't find the stand for it uh, or the cord for it. I found the cord and then promptly discovered that I still don't have a plug in my phone now. So I can't plug in the, the sound radio mic, the microphone. God dang, this is my brain. Um, 
um smart this is ghost veil by lime crime so anyway i'm gonna try to keep it moving keep it moving i have this uh, foundation is from house loves there we go by uh Lady Gaga, as I call it, and I'm just, it's pretty good. It's uh, medium to full, right, or light to medium. I don't know if it says. I got that on my teeth. Uh, it doesn't say. So, but it's not automatically full coverage, which is fine. I don't, there are times where I want like a really good coverage. But most of the time I don't because I tend to feel like I I look like I have a lot of makeup on. And I don't want to. When I do use a more fuller coverage, I do prefer like Hoda's, uh, whatever that stuff's called. I don't know. I suck at the names of things. Like, But her liquid foundation, I prefer that. I have one from Becca Cosmetics that I ordered from Amazon. Because, you know, they stopped making it and I wanted to try it real bad. And that one, I'm telling you, that is full coverage. You know? Like, that is, you don't have skin. You have, you have makeup. Which, I used that for my birthday and that was really nice. I went, um, and I didn't take a single freaking, like, full body picture. But we did, for my birthday, I did a uh, Care Bear theme and I went as Grumpy Bear. It was super cute. That's what hair was blue and I didn't take a good picture. I took a couple of pictures of me with some coworkers, but you can't really see how cute the hair looks. You can barely see the makeup and you definitely can't see the dress that I was wearing that had the Grumpy Bear symbol on it. So that was a little bummer. But what can you do when you're dumb? It was a good, it was a good, um, good birthday for most all things considered. I think most people that said they were going to go bailed, which I'm used to at, anymore. And then, um, those that did come, a lot of them didn't dress <laughs> up for it, which is okay. But I was like, some of them had picked a, a character and I was just really looking forward to it and, you know, anyway, so it was okay. It was, it was good. It was a birthday. Next year, I'm going to be of a certain age that I don't want to discuss because I don't want even, I don't, I don't feel like I'm old, you know, like, and I know people be like, you're old, whatever, but I don't feel like I'm almost 40, you know, I guess is my point. So when I look in the, the mirror, I'm like, oh no. And then when I remember, I'm like, that I am. I am almost 40. Like, why? You know, like, why is this the way it's going? It just, I just don't feel like I'm ready. You know, I don't feel like I'm ready. But it is what it is, man. But yeah, so anyway, I have a new car. Um, before I had an orange Dodge Dart, her name was Paisley. And now I have a blue Chrysler 200. Her name is Sapphire or Laffy Saffy. And I stole that from Steven Universe because I love that show. So, and I, I love my new car, but the thing is that it's only a year newer than the car that I had and has a good, I think 40,000 more than when I broke Paisley in miles, sorry, 40,000 miles more. And I paid about the same for it. You know, it's just ridiculous. Like why? The car market right now is just absolutely ridiculous. Like if you don't have to buy a new car, I recommend you just don't, you know? I recommend that you make whatever you're driving work because good Lord, I went all over the place trying to find something, ended up going to Don Hatton on the west side of Wichita 
And I mean, I got my previous car from Don Hatton and Derby. So it's not like I've never worked with them before. And they, like, it was a, it was a positive experience for the most part. I just, I just don't think that I should have had to pay as much as I did for that car. You know, like, I just don't think that it should have been so expensive. And they put this freaking clear coat on there that they're like, we're going to charge you an extra $800 almost for it. And I was like, why you should make that an option? Like, if you want, we'll throw on this clear coat or make it part of the price of the car and not say the car is this much plus an extra $800 for this clear coat is ridiculous. I got real mad and I was having a hard time not going full Karen on them. I tried really hard. I think a certain part of me was a sassy, rude little butthole, but all things considered, I think I handled it. Yeah, I know I handled it better than my mom would have. She would have lost her mind, but yeah. All right, I've got this it's a contour thing and I honestly I don't know how to use it it's by Scott Barnes I got it in my ipsy bag I was so excited I was so excited for the um sorry I'm not trying to un um but I can't remember the name of things right now the uh ips, ipsy like they had like a guest person and it was Bailey Sarian who whatever it's called it was Bailey Sarian and I was so excited, you know, to have her be the guest person. I was thinking it's going to be um, more, what do they want to call it? Like, I don't even know what I'm doing, just so you know. I figured it'd be a little more edgy, though, is what I'm trying to say. And it was a lot of the same crap that the other ones had only it was her bag and I, I imagine she probably didn't get to pick too much what what she was going to to use in her bag I imagine it was probably like you have these products make it work my favorite thing I got was um, the makeup bag because it's like and I'm not a huge snake skin person but it was super cute it has a uh, it's red, which is not also my favorite color or anything like that. So I don't know why I like it so much. But I can fit literally all the things I need to do my makeup in there. I can fit it in there. Like, it's crazy to me. But, but I can fit it all in this bag. And it says, like, it has a heart. And it's a like a cracked, like a broken heart. And on one side it says sus and on the other side it says Fish. So it's like it's this fish from her show, and I thought that was really cute marketing, you know. But after that being kind of a letdown, I canceled my Ipsy subscription because I only I was thinking about it anyway. I've been kind of talking about it because I got a lot of makeup and I I understand what I like now. Whereas when I first started Ipsy, it was nice because I had no clue what I liked in my makeup at all. So I, uh, sorry. And then it got me help with my skincare, which I also didn't know what I liked. So that really, I mean, it was nice initially, but then once I kind of started knowing what I was into, it just really, they didn't, I didn't need it anymore. And every month I was kind of disappointed with spending all this money for it because I was getting the full size stuff. So anyway, I canceled that. And it feels weird knowing that like, I'm not going to get makeup in the mail every month. But I guess I could just order from like Sephora and get all kinds of stuff. <laughs> anyway this is line crime this color I think is suede berry helps if I stop yeah it's suede berry I'm like 
twisting it and it's and then the um, lip liner is poppy also from one okay so eyebrows I've since I've gotten my hair done I wonder if I need to sorry I'm like I just don't want it to be like a line like you're a ghost not a ghost a clown that's what I meant to say so I'm looking in the mirror because I'm trying to look at this I don't know it's funny because in this mirror oh I got sorry I had a little something in my tooth. Um, in this mirror, the lip color looks exactly the same as this. And in this camera, it looks a little brighter, which is okay. I just didn't expect it. But, all right, so this is Rare Beauties. What is it? Some taupe thing. Rich taupe. Which is my go-to, like, taupe. Whoa. <laughs> um, taupe is the color I go for when I'm more blonde when it comes to my eyebrows. I feel like it matches my skin tone a little better I just find that it's also not as dark as I'd like like I want the color but a little more pigment um, the red the auburn one that they that she has it's just it's awesome when I have red hair if I ever have it again that'll be that'll be the one I'll let that dry and then I'm gonna fill it out a little bit more Ugh. so anyway I'm just rambling I have indigestion what else is new um why is my brain like this you know like I just don't understand I guess I could probably put a little blush on do I want this color I didn't get any blush out because I thought that that palette had a little. Hmm. Well, let's find out. I mean, it's it's gonna be too late once I put it on, but hmm. I don't know that it necessarily goes, but it's okay. Find a way to turn this shit down a little bit. I think we'll go with this. Yeah. Sorry. Attention span of a gerbil. Got that sweet, sweet ADHD going on. But, ah, oh, why? just itches man all the time whenever I put makeup on somewhere on my nose it itches and then I have a line or something where it's uh, you know not right sorry I didn't get out of just, now I'm paranoid I didn't get out of my shadow primer I don't know that I actually find it Find that it makes much of a difference you know like I want it to and this thing keeps separating I think that's probably why they went to a new I think I've told you this before but I have the right before right before they reformatted their packaging I finally sucked it up and bought eyeshadow primer from Too Faced and I think it feels nice but it separates and then it's liquidy and I don't know if that's how it always was or what, but if it's not, then I see why they um, repacked. So I'm trying like all kind I'm all over the place. Uh, 20 minutes. All right. I, mm -hmm. I, I broke off part of the pencil sorry I don't use the the pencil side very often I mean maybe I use it in my videos but like when I do my makeup at work or 
just regular. I don't really use the, the, the other end. I just use this side. Okay. Well, that's how it is. All right. Eyeshadow. I'm using, I got this from Ipsy too. It's Jubilee. Jubilee. So I think it'll go well with the, with this that I've got going on. We shall find out together. Sorry. I, I don't think I have a single clean, like, untouched brush right now. So I'm just using my little guy here and trying to brush off as much of the shadow as excuse me. Itch, itch, itch. As much of the shadow as possible. So <laughs> I don't think I'm very interesting anymore. Maybe I never was. You know, like maybe. Do you think? Hmm. Do you ever feel like I used to be so much more entertaining than I am now? Or so much more funny or smart? My memory, like, I still think it's because of all the episodes I've had of severe depression. I feel like my memory isn't good anymore and I can't focus on things like I used to. It's a good thing I don't do theater because I have nightmares, literal nightmares where I can't remember my lines and then people regret putting me in their shows and don't want to work with me anymore. And honestly, at this point, the way my brain is, I don't know if it's entirely an unfounded fear that I would not be able sorry I'm trying to I don't, I don't know if it matters um but it's not an entirely unfounded fear I don't think that I wouldn't remember my lines I know the last show I did was several years ago when my girlfriend and I first started dating I did Shakespeare in the Park and I loved that show I loved my role I thought it was so fun but every night there was a chunk of dialogue I forgot every single freaking night and, you know, I tell you, I hated, hated, hated it. Because <laughs> it wasn't the same either. It wasn't like, oh, I'll go home and I'll work on this one chunk and I'm going to, I'm going to nail it next time. It was every time it was a different spot of, of dialogue. Just entirely different. All right. I'm going to go with this yellow. Hopefully the best on it. I honestly don't know what this looks gonna look like. I'm just trying to use colors that are in my, I don't know if you can see it, but it's my, it's strollers. But anyway, so it's not an entirely unfounded fear. It's good that I don't do theater anymore. I really, I really wanted to do my own independent movies, you know, like not like independent films, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to do, like really cool edgy shit you know not the like the weird stuff where you're like mm, I don't know if I I don't know if this is a movie or what is this that I'm watching like I don't want that but I wanted I wanted to do something like fun but meaningful and I wanted it to be like me and a bunch of people from the department and we would go in and like we would supply our own costumes we do our own hair and makeup you know we'd find local bands that want to put music in movies and stuff and that's what we would use for the films and I never I never did it like at all obviously I mean I can barely edit a YouTube video so how did I ever think I was gonna be able to make a movie but I want to start out with like 10 minute like little shorts and then you know build up to something cool but I I just I don't know why I can't get myself to to focus other than I probably have ADHD and I don't know how to I hear that there's things they can do to help you if you have ADHD 
like medicines and stuff but I don't know if I want to have any medicine for that you know like I don't I don't know what I want to do all I know is that this look is weird I don't know we'll see I guess I could take this down this might help if I can see it with my hair down I don't know if anybody else has that but well I almost dropped stuff again but like when you do stuff and then you're like mm, and then you bring your hair down and you're like ah oh, oh, that's better that's I don't know if that did that for me, but it's fine. Oh, um, no, I'm kind of tempted to wet down this green. Okay. And see if, while it's wet, if it would be a little more. I don't know, pigmented, I guess. I don't know. Although I don't know if this micellar water is the best idea because I feel like it, you, its use is to take things off, not put them on. So, I'll go back over it. Okay, I never put the highlight on. So I'm going to use, so I don't, you can't see it, REM Beauty, it is green. I've used it I think one time before. And it was a wild time. Where's this brush? What is this brush? Tapered highlighting. Okay. See? I don't know. I think I'm gonna cut it with maybe a pink. Because I do like it. I think it's it's just it's just pink. Fancy pink diamond, yeah. Um, just to kind of like bring it in. I think it's a good highlight. And I think I'll figure out a use for it. You know what I mean? I'll figure out what it's good for. But I really don't know if like normal makeup wear is where it's at. For me at least. And then maybe it's a shade thing. Maybe it's because my skin tone's more pink. I don't know. Eyeliner, mascara. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this off camera because the video is long enough. Hello. Okay. So done. I messed up the mascara like I always do. Like, see, I dabbed myself here and then I scraped up there. I think the contour looks okay though. Like I was worried it would look crazy. Oh, and I'm under 200 pounds finally. That's nice. Look. Anyway, all right. So, um, let's say like I hope you're asking for help if you need it. I haven't been doing so good at that. So. <sighs> It's hard out here for a bitch. Well, anyway, I hope things are going okay. And uh, I hope I will actually post this video. Um, we'll find out. Uh, like, like me. Subscribe. Share my videos. Make comments. Is good. Anyway, love you, bye.